I'm Susan Poole. I graduated from Parkway West in 1972. That's when it was really early. And some of the people that were important in my life during that time uh, were the teachers that I had there. My sister is a graduate of Parkway from the year before me. She's a 71 graduate. And I was speaking with her the other night and said, I remember my kindergarten teacher all the way through. And she said she doesn't remember anybody. And I do. I remember my teachers. And some of them were so important in my life. And I didn't realize when I grew up that I would be a teacher. And I would have students coming back and saying, do you know what you did for me? So it's kind of a neat little circle that I've been with. Um, teaching students. I don't have people yet coming back and saying, I'm the the, the son or daughter of a student, but that will happen pretty soon, probably. Um, and I love that. I love teaching. I teach at Cal Poly State University, which is in San Luis Obispo, California. Okay, For everybody else, just go la, 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 la. It's the most beautiful place on earth. Nobody come there. The housing's already too expensive. Um, it's wonderful. Someone has to jog on the beach every day to pack down the sand. Okay, I volunteer. I do that. And I belong to an outrigger paddling club, and we race. Okay, for those of you who don't know what outrigger is, think uh, Hawaii Five O. And anybody older or younger than me doesn't know what that is. But da -da 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 -da. okay, so I do that, and I'm active all the time. And people in California are active all the time. People in the place where I live. I don't know that. That's true for all Californians. I love what I do. I teach. I love teaching. I really love it. And for students, if you have a teacher who can teach you something, appreciate it. There are two teachers in particular from Parkway that I'd like to sort of talk about. Uh, one is Ruth Jones, and she'll be here tonight, and she's just a hoot. I love her. She's just so fun. But what she did for me, they always had these weird activities in physical education. I, really weird stuff. Two-person volleyball, I, uh, fly casting, it, it, just weird things, and, and so it was always interesting. And the other person, and she's probably not going to be here tonight, was Mrs. Kennedy. Who taught English. She taught me how to write. And I can appreciate that as a teacher because so many of our students don't know how to write. They really don't. But I know that she's the person who taught me how to write. And I've written three books now and I've written many professional journal articles and I, I, I know I know how to write because of her. I love it. So those were the two people that were most important. Um, I had a lot of other teachers that were really good. Mr. Beer, who was um, my drafting teacher. And I was the first girl ever to take that in 72. And, you know, I was surrounded by all these guys, and they're kind of looking around like, wrong place, home ex over there. Um, and I had fun. I loved it, because it was a very visual type of thing. I was in drama. I was in arts. I was in drafting. We had this great room at Parkway West. That was down near the uh, cafeteria. And we painted it black my senior year. And then we would all just take chalk and, walk, and write on it. And it, I, I toured the building yesterday with, with uh, Mrs. Jones and her husband, Hank. And it's not there anymore, of course, but it was, that was a cool room. And I didn't like the black, but I liked the fact that we could just write. We could be whomever we were. What do I do for fun? Well, I've got. I was showing my mother this morning. I've got scars on both knees this year. New scars. Okay, I had scars at four years old because all four-year-olds fall. And I've got new scars this year because I had a, an accident on my mountain bike, which tells you what I do. I mountain bike regularly, a couple of times a week. Uh, my paddling club, we go out. We're out there in the water in the middle of the ocean about 10 hours a week. And the place where I happen to live and where we happen to paddle uh, is Avila Beach, California. 
And when we come back from our training run, we're coming back right into the sunset. So we're paddling back after a hard workout, right in line with the sunset. And almost inevitably, someone along the line, there are six of us in the boat. It's a 40 foot boat, 400 pounds, six of us in the boat. Someone will always say, oh my gosh, look where we live. And you know, <laughs> here it is. Okay, so I do that a lot. And that just sets the day. And it comes back to, yeah, here's my job, here's what I have to do, here's what I do to pay rent, here's what I, you know, but at the end of the day, I get to paddle into the sunset. <laughs> what a cool life. I really like what I'm doing and who I am. I teach physiology, okay? Um, in the curriculum that I teach, I teach in kinesiology. And physiology is always considered one of the hard, no, it's considered the hardest course in the curriculum. So I see students a couple of times sometimes because it's the course that somebody wants to see two or three times before they finally get it right. And that bothers me a little bit because in my profession, which is a health education type profession, we teach mostly pre-PT people. We teach uh, pre-physical education people. We teach uh, pre-trainer people they need to know this. It's like, would you want your doctor to have gotten a D in anatomy? No. <laughs> and so I want my students to be successful. And I try to do what it takes to make them successful. So I have developed myself as a teacher. I've been very lucky along the way. I've had very good people help me be a good teacher. And some of the awards I've, I've won and or been presented with, whatnot, indicate that other people think I'm a good teacher. Um, and it's because I really want them to know. I'm not there to challenge you to get a passing grade. It, that's irrelevant. I want everyone in the class to get 100% on every test. And if I can do something that will help that, I'll do it. Uh, and I think that some of the teachers I had at Parkway were the same way. They just wanted us to know. It wasn't so important what they were teaching. And I am so sorry that I can't remember his name. And someone out there is going to tell me what his name was. I had a physics teacher, and he challenged me at one point, And I came through, and he was just so proud of me. Um, and that's who I want to be in life. And that's how, how I hope that all of you will be in life, that you'll be challenged by people and you'll do what it takes to come through. So, you know, we're just all better people because of that. For whomever is ever going to listen to this, um, you got to find a way to be yourself. Hmm? My parents aren't going to be happy with what I'm wearing right here. Um, and the people who are important in, in my life right now might not be happy with what I'm doing. I don't care. I'm happy. I run on the beach. I teach good students, smart students. I love that. Um, I'm involved with organizations that are doing good things for good people. And I really, really like that. So I'm happy. And whatever it takes for a student in high school or junior high or elementary to be happy, as long as it's legal. Um, just be happy. Do what you can to be happy. Because you're the only person that you have to be. And just be you. And that, that's, that, that's what it's all about.